So, when sorting out your recycle, it's important to know what is and isn't okay. going to be talking about how to recycle properly. Alright, so first things first, I recommend having a spare recycle bin in your household. That way everyone can just throw everything in there and the person with the most recycling experience, that should be you, will be able to sort everything out, make sure everything is thrown away properly. So let's start with the red bin, paper and cardboard. You want to be able to fit at least two weeks worth of material in here. Uh, a couple ways to do this is to either flatten some boxes to make more room, or you could actually store the smaller boxes into much bigger ones to make more room. There's another way. And pizza boxes are a big no-no. Uh, specifically used ones, all the bits of food and grease on there is going to make it completely useless for recycling companies. And maybe you could just rip off the top half. Still pretty greasy. So definitely just throw them in the garbage. If uh, you find yourself recycling a book, just be sure to remove the hardcover. Shredded paper is usually just something I'll throw in the garbage, just because uh, the pieces are so little and they can make a big mess. You can recycle it though. Uh, I would recommend storing it in a sealed box. Also, some of these boxes, uh, some of them may have stickers or tape on them. Just be sure to remove that. You can recycle envelopes. However, there is this little plastic sheet there. Be sure to just rip that off because that can really mess with the process. Okay, cardboard, this is good. Egg cartons, this is good. Uh, newspapers, this is good. Uh, paper towel rolls, yes. Uh, not paper towels though. Don't do that, especially, yeah, no, don't. So the blue bin, plastic, glass, and aluminum. Uh, do not recycle your plastic bags or DVD cases or pots. Also, don't recycle propane tanks. Also, if you'd like to recycle your electronics, Best Buy has a program for that. You can also bring your beer bottles or beer cans back to the beer store. They reuse them anyway and you get money back for it. A couple things I want to mention here, uh, you don't recycle styrofoam, and second, uh, you're not going to be able to throw a big box like this into one of your recycle bins at home, most likely. So one thing you can do is drop it off at your local recycle center, or you know, you could just um, cut it down yourself. I think next time I'm just going to send it in.